Globe. I'm Debbie Bowles, the Vice President of Performance Excellence. I'm excited to share with you a glimpse of the Kaizen event for the Supervisor Effectiveness Project. What is a Kaizen event? Kaizen, quick change or good change in Japanese, is when a cross-functional team works together over a short period of time to drive improvement. The event at Baldwin focused on one of our foundational projects. We know that the supervisor is a critical role to successful warehouse operations. They're the frontline leaders who collectively have an impact on warehouse productivity, utilization, and associate retention. I'll turn it over to Mike Curlicuccio, the project owner, and GM of the Jacksonville facility who co-led this event with Frank Dorn of the Center of Excellence. Thanks, Mike, for being the project leader of this initiative and Ronnie Calloway for being the project sponsor of this critical event. Hi, everybody. We certainly had a great event at the Baldwin facility last week, and you could certainly tell that we were working as one team throughout the Kaizen event. I just want to relay the energy and collaboration that was felt throughout that process with the team, which was comprised of talent development, HR, field training, and multiple levels of the warehouse operations management from general managers, ops managers, shift managers, along with supervisors as well. Our goal was to understand the voice of the various customers, identify the gaps in the current process, and identify solutions to pilot in Baldwin over the next several weeks. Next steps will include additional pilots in Chester and Malden, leading to a comprehensive solution package, which will be rolled out site by site across CNS. Thanks, everybody. Back to you, Debbie. The Supervisor Effectiveness Project is one of our three foundational projects, the other two being new hire selector retention and leveling demand. The benefits expected from these projects are cost savings and positive impact to warehouse and transportation operations. In March, be on the watch for our next edition of The Wrap.